Hello, and welcome to the Grants Portal How-To Videos, presented by FEMA's Public Assistance Training Section. This video will cover how existing organizations in Grants Portal may submit a request for public assistance. The Request for Public Assistance, also called an RPA, is the official application form needed to apply for the Public Assistance Program on a declared event. If you already have a username and are with an organization that has used Grants Portal in the past, you can submit an RPA from your Grants Portal dashboard page. Pull up the Grants Portal page at the following link, www.grantee.fema.gov. Log in with your username and password. You will need to accept the privacy notice and the notice that you are accessing a U.S. government information system. Once accepted, you are taken directly to your dashboard. If your organization is located in a designated county for a public assistance event, you should see a yellow banner at the top of your dashboard page. Click the blue hyperlink, which says click here to submit an RPA for your organization. The progression of your RPA can be tracked by the blue status bar at the top. Read the information on this start page. There is the Paperwork Burden Disclosure Notice, the Privacy Act Statement, as well as instructions on completing this form. Click the blue Proceed button to advance to the next screen. Section 1, Declaration and Applicant Information. On this page, you'll see some of your organization's information is already there. That's because it has pre-populated from your organization profile. Please confirm the information is correct and select the event you're applying for in the Event drop-down box. Next, select the primary address from clicking the drop-down box. If the correct address is not listed, this means the addresses under your organization profile will need to be updated. Otherwise, click Proceed to advance to the next page. Section 2 deals with the applicant experience. Please select the statement that best aligns with your level of experience as an applicant with the Public Assistance Program and the level of support you will need navigating the process. Then, click Proceed to Advance. Section 3, Impacts, gathers high-level information on your incident-related impacts. Answer the questions to the best of your ability. You may hover over the information icons for further clarification. For answers with a checkbox field, you may select more than one if it applies to your circumstance. For questions with the radio button, only one may be chosen. For question number three, what is the approximate total number of facilities with incident-related impacts? Please enter a number in the text box. And remember, FEMA defines a facility as any publicly or privately owned building, works, system, or equipment, or an improved and maintained natural feature. The next question is asking for the status of all the work to address these impacts. If the work has started, you can provide a projected end date if known. Use the calendar icon to correctly populate the field. This preliminary information, coupled with how you answered the previous applicant experience section, helps FEMA determine resources that will be needed to respond to this event and your needs as an applicant. When you are finished, click Proceed. Applicant certifications from the drop-down select the primary contact, which will be required in order to submit your RPA. An alternate contact may also be selected, but is not required Next, please read the general certification statements regarding requirements in order to receive public assistance. You will need to initial next to each statement in order to sign your RPA. Now, click the orange Click to Sign arrow. This will bring up the Record General Certification Signature box. You will need to print your name, select an electronic signature style if you choose, and then enter your Grants Portal password. Click the blue Sign button. Now you will see your signature has populated on the main page. Click the blue Proceed button. The last section is the Submit page, where you can review the information you have already entered. Upon review, if you see any edits that need to be made, you may click your Back button to go back to the page in question. Otherwise, click the blue Submit button 
to submit your RPA. You will now see a green congratulations screen. Once a request for public assistance is submitted, it goes through a recipient review and then a FEMA review for approval. Once you are approved, you will receive a notification from the system. You can also check the status of your RPA in Grants Portal. On the left-hand navigation panel, select My Organization. Click the caret to expand the selection and then click Applicant Event Profiles, where you will see your current process step. You may also click the magnifying glass next to the event, which will show the process step on the General Information section. Thank you for watching. If you have further questions, please reach out to the Public Assistance Grants Manager Grants Portal Hotline at 866-337-8448. The Department of Homeland Security's Office of Inspector General has a hotline where you can report suspected corruption, waste, fraud, abuse, mismanagement, or misconduct. You can contact the department by phone at 800-323-8603 or by mail at DHS Office of Inspector General, Mail Stop 0305, Attention Hotline at 245 Murray Lane Southwest, that's M-U-R-R-A-Y, Washington, D.C., 20528-0305. Additionally, FEMA has more information about procurement available on its website at www.fema.gov forward slash grants forward slash procurement. Here you can learn more about procurement guidance as well as FEMA's procurement disaster assistance teams who are available for additional procurement support.